Hi, I'm Doug from Dynamic Computing, and welcome to episode 97.5 of 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast. I don't know. A lot of you saw my review uh, just posted this morning about the Pi Storm and also noted the issues that I was having when playing some games. And I'm telling you what, I had these issues from day one. I've never been able to reliably play any game on here, no matter how I had the thing formatted, okay? But in talking with the devs today on Discord, he commented that he'd heard of an issue where if you have retargetable graphics enabled and you have some kind of um, mouse driver software that controls like a scroll wheel on a mouse, that that can cause some problems and some, some interrupt issues. And he said, that looks like what you're having. That's what's slowing down your system so much. We talked about it. I said, hey, I've got Amiga OS 3.1.4. I've got Best Workbench. He says, what's Best Workbench? What's that do? I explained a little bit to him. And a couple other people chimed in and said, yeah, there's this commodity called Freewheel that comes with Best Workbench. Maybe that's causing the issue. Maybe in situations like mine, where we're using 3.14 and probably 3.2, since it integrates many of the features of Best Workbench, maybe there's a problem there. I looked in my commodities, I wasn't running Best Workbench, okay? But I have six or seven perfectly normal commodities running. Click to front, Workbench, Dock, you know, stuff like that. Just some pretty normal ones that I've got running on all my machines, okay? So I thought, okay, we'll have some fun here. Let's remove all the commodities. I removed the commodities, rebooted. Lo and behold, when I run sysinfo, my chip RAM says it's running about 0 0.96, 0 0.97 as fast as an, as an A500 or A600 as opposed to 0.67, which I've been getting from literally day one since I've been using my Pi Storm. So I reran some of the games and here you go, here's the proof. It's an improvement. I'll talk about them after you take a look at the games. I think you'll agree on Saint Dragon. It is much, much more playable. Now, is it the full frames per second it's supposed to be? Absolutely not. I can still see dropped frames. I can still see it, it stuttering as soon as you get any enemies on the screen. Like where the, the tree appears, that still flashes into place. Those dudes in the tree fire their missiles. It doesn't run like that. It, th that is absolutely rock solid perfect on every Amiga I've tried. But now it's to the point where, yeah, okay, it's 10% slower than on an Amiga 500, which is much better than 30% slower. So I just wanted to be upfront and honest, say, hey, we found a problem, we found an issue, and it helps. Now, with Agony, hardly helped at all. We still have that weird glitching at the beginning that I don't get on my other Amigas. But when the game starts to play, it's better. The waves actually look like waves. There's still some stuttering and some drop frames, but it's better. Now in the pinball game, uh, Pinball Dreams, that's perfectly playable now. It's gone from being about 20% slower than an Amiga 500 to about 5% slower. Is this good? No, we want it at 100% of the speed in order to play the games. I mean, if not, why would we bother? 
But I want to be upfront that yes, we found a little glitch. Yes, there's a way around it. To nutshell this, if you're using Amiga OS 3.14 on your Pi Storm or the new Amiga OS 3.2, we need to be aware that something in Best Workbench, probably Best Workbench, could cause a conflict on the Pi Storm. Now, is it the Pi Storm's fault or is it Best Workbench's fault? I don't know. We'll see. But it works fine on seven or eight of my Amigas. I don't have any slowdowns or issues. I only have it here. I'm leaning towards, okay, something with the, the, the emulation code is, you know, not quite up to snuff. But that's cool. As long as we find the source of the problem, figure out what it is, then they can fix it. So it works. So I just wanted to come back to you, let you know, yes, there are improvements available. Yes, we do need to watch out for some things. And yes, this is probably going to be improving over the next couple of months. That's where we are. So thanks for watching this little quick little video. It's less than 10 minutes, amazing. But for now, this is Doug from 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast, signing out.